Hello, my name is Larry Burkholder, Training Manager, Digger Specialties, Manufacturer of the Westbury Aluminum Railing System. Today we're going to install a Tuscany Series stair rail system onto these three posts. We're going to use a stair crossover. We're going to use 47 inch posts at all locations recommended for stair. And also uh, uh, you'll notice that this stair kit is designed for the stair crossover. It is three inches longer than the bottom rail on both ends. We're also going to remove the PVC inserts uh, prior to uh, mounting our jig onto these posts. We now have our apparatus set up with the clamps in place. We're going to focus on this section here. We chose to start at the bottom portion first. So we have equal baluster spacing on both sides and my balusters are parallel with the post. I have a one by underneath here so we have one inch clearance. And from this apparatus there's numerous things that we can determine. Number one, we can determine and install our hardware locations at these three locations. So from this apparatus, we can also determine the plane of the stair crossover. This is a nut and bolt assembly, a half inch nut on top of here. This will swivel from zero to 43 degrees. So we can determine the plane and the height that the post needs to be. You can see we have about two inches of adjustment. I like to get this down as close to the uh, top of the post, as close to top, the top here, so, but there will be a flare to work with as well. So from this apparatus, we can determine the post height and the plane of the top rail. From this apparatus, we can also, after the hardware is installed, we can determine how we're going to cut these rails. So on the top side, top and bottom rail, I'm sorry, on the bottom side, top and bottom rail, you're going to mark 3 16th off the plane of the top and the bottom rail on the top side. And on the top side of the stair system, you're going to mark 3 16th off the uh, post wall on the bottom of the rail. We're now ready to attach the hard hardware. For simplicity's sake, I have the first screw already installed in all of our hardware. On the bottom side of the stairs, both top rail and bottom rail, you have a choice of four entry point points. You want to use two of them. And uh, here in this particular application, the top entry points uh, become a little bit easier due to the obstruction here of this stair. Also a uh, helpful little tip, you notice I have a very long bit here, which helps me get this in position a little bit better than what you would with a shorter bit. We're going to change out our longer bit with a shorter bit to do the rest. And change positions. We've now cut our post to length and we're ready to uh, place our stair crossover and the flare inside the post. At this time, we're not going to attach the stair crossover to the post, and we're not going to tighten the nut to create the final angle for the stair crossover. I have cut my bottom rail to the correct length. I have reset and put my adder, uh, at top rail apparatus back in place with the two balusters. We have cut the post off to the specific length. I have attached with two screws the cross stair crossover to the post underneath this uh, flare. And now we are ready to tighten this nut because we can determine the plane of the top rail. Once I tighten this nut, this will be fixed in the, its final position. We're now ready to install the bottom rail. We have the PVC inserts cut to length back inside the rail. And as we were working with the bottom rail, I quickly found out that it's best to mark the, uh, what's on your bottom side of the rail. So I have a little B in the bottom of the bottom rail so I don't get this turned the wrong way, because that is important. So we're going to put that into place. We're going to drop the balusters into position. We're ready to install the top rail onto the balusters. And you'll notice there's two different baluster spacings. There's a short side and a long slide. The long side is going to go on my stair crossover side. So we're going to replace this in the cup and start to position our balusters in place and get your rubber mallet to help you position things. 
Make sure you're lined up with the cup. We're now ready to install the top rail onto the stair crossover, the angle set. I have one screw in place already. You notice my long bit. It's a lifesaver in this application. Number two square head. Also, uh, you're ready to tap this flare into its final position as well. We're now ready to do the side entry screws to attach the top and the bottom rail to the bracketry. Repeat on the other side. We now have the covers in place for the top rail and the bottom rail on the bottom side. And I'll demonstrate the uh, bottom rail cover on the top side. Of course, there's no cover needed here because of the crossover.